Okay, so baking soda works. Let's try put this one. I put about one tablespoon. That's okay. Maybe half of that one tablespoon and see what happened. Now I only soaked it for five minutes. This would be a solution of getting rid of bad radiation in your food. And, and baking soda has been used to detoxify heavy metals and, and other chemicals. So this is, this is, and it's safe to consume baking soda. So just rinse it. Uh, it appears uh, twice with the baking soda. Okay. After uh, you put it in, we use filtered water. So we're going to take it over here. We're going to pour it down the sink, of course. And uh, before we add it in here, we're going to... We have a filter on this, this water system, so we're going to fill it up. Now, does it matter what water we're using? Well, the water's got a filtration system, so it's... But you have reverse osmosis. Uh, Yes, there's there's large blocks of filtration. Over here is the reverse osmosis for the most advanced, and this is a, a very good heavy block, uh, carbon block uh, okay. filter. Because I'm also aware that perhaps because of what happened to Fukushima, a water system might be contaminated with radiation. Right, so we should be using... Uh, advanced water filtration systems, particularly those that emphasize reverse osmosis, and we should be also doing um, HEPA filters for the air. So I'm going to calibrate it one last time with the Canary 100 and see if we detect any remaining radiation in the seaweed. Much better. Well, there's, there's, there's no detection. That's just a normal. So we've removed all the radiation particles. We highly recommend that you purify all your food, fruits, vegetables, seaweed, etc., filtering them with uh, about a half a tablespoon of baking soda and rinsing it twice, okay. and uh, then detecting it with a Canary 100. Check our website out for more information, nickdelgado.com. Thank you. Well, if you heard it, guys, so there is a cheap solution out there for you. And